Hey my friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. I'm kind of a geek when it comes to manufacturing and history and news stories and things like that. And I've got to tell you, Ford is making history in West Tennessee with the all new Blue Oval City Manufacturing Campus, one of the biggest of its kind. And they're also going to be making history with the all new electric trucks that are going to be built there. Construction of Ford's sprawling new Blue Oval City electric vehicle manufacturing campus in West Tennessee is well underway. And today it was announced that their next generation Ford EV pickup, codenamed T3, will be the first vehicle built there starting in 2025. The manufacturing campus and the new line of electric vehicles and batteries that will be built at Blue Oval City are being called a once in a lifetime opportunity to revolutionize America's truck. On scale both in size and historical significance with the Rouge plant in Dearborn built over 100 years ago, Blue Oval City will be capable of producing 500,000 electric Ford and Lincoln vehicles a year at full tilt. The new 3,600-acre site encompasses some six square miles and represents a $5.6 billion investment that will bring over 6,000 high-quality jobs to the area of Stanton, Tennessee. Notably, Ford is not only growing a new manufacturing city, but people to work there. A massive and long-term investment in local education called Blue Oval Learning begins with K-12 STEM programs, funding for technical education at high schools and community colleges, and a range of targeted technical training programs all to fill these 6,000 new jobs. From a community and prosperity standpoint, Blue Oval City is the beginning of a new era for thousands of families in West Tennessee. It's huge. The plants itself will be much like the original Rouge complex, vertically integrated with a high production battery plant on site called Blue Oval SK, a partnership with Ford and SK On, where batteries will be built and pushed directly into new trucks within 30 minutes. The campus will also have a supplier park where many of the outside parts and components for the new trucks will be built on site. Because a new facility will be carbon neutral, it features its own clean power network, will use zero groundwater, and will have zero waste to landfill from the production of new vehicles. As mentioned, the first new vehicle of many to be produced at the plant will be an all-new second-generation electric pickup truck that Ford intends to bring EV to scale for the masses and promises it will be revolutionary. We don't know much about the truck other than Ford is calling it T3 internally, which means trust the truck by its development team. Ford CEO Jim Farley today at the presser stated that it'll be far less complex and more efficient to manufacture than anything built today, offering a fraction of the build combinations of the current F-150 Lightning. Upfitters will be located on campus to install popular features before the trucks even ship out, like spray and bed liners, tonneau covers, integrated toolboxes, and other accessories that currently cause delays and bottlenecks in production. It'll have continuously updatable software to allow the truck to improve over time. It'll be available to export its power to a job site or even a home, and most importantly, it'll be fast, quiet, and smooth in its performance. Other than that, Ford has been very tight-lipped about what the T3 will be. Will it be body on frame like the Lightning? Will it be full size, mid size, or compact? The reality is that it could be a family of new trucks that range in size and scope all based on a new EV platform that's scalable. A silhouette was teased at an event some time back that suggests that Ford is leaning towards a monocoque body and frame structure much like that of the new Chevrolet Silverado EV and its family. As a method of construction for an EV, it's simpler, lighter, cheaper, and allows more flexibility for powertrain options and battery size. Just my gut feeling, time will tell. We will be finding out soon enough. In 2025, this truck actually begins production at this new plant. That's pretty fast, just two years. And you can bet that between here and then, we will be seeing spy photos. We'll be getting leaked news and eventually a reveal, maybe next year. And in that way, then uh, there'll be the reservation process for all of those that want to be the first one to get one. And I don't know, I'll be keeping an eye on that myself. It'll be time for a new truck by that point in time, I think, for me. That said, as I said at the beginning, I geek out on manufacturing stories. So if I'm kind of gushing and excited about all this, that's because I am. I love touring automotive plants. I love watching how the business changes. And this is change right here. 
about how the car is being built. This is a plant in a campus, a project that is on scale with the original Rouge plant that was built over 100 years ago. It was revolutionary then, and this may be looked at as revolutionary today. And that's just how I feel about it. It may sound unbiased, but that's just my, that's my take. So there you go. Now, we have a lot of reporting on electric vehicles, test drives, technical. You can see all of that right there. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel right there. Same form of everything we do. Either way, stay tuned.